Lobby Tools, Florida's legislative intelligence company. Subscribe today to Florida's leading policy, budget, and campaign tracking service. Request a free trial today at LobbyTools.com. What's going on, Rattlers? When the clock struck midnight election morning, Democrat gubernatorial hopeful Andrew Gillum was closing his campaign at a rap concert on the FAMU campus. And tomorrow we've got to get out and vote like our lives depended on it. Six hours later, he was on a satellite media tour of Florida news outlets. In each interview, he urged people to vote. I'm not uh, giving up on getting my share of Republican votes uh, in this election, and I think we're going to fare well with independence in this state. Two dozen people were waiting in line when Precinct 5105 in Tallahassee opened. Traffic remains steady. On any given election, about a thousand people will cast ballots at this midtown Tallahassee polling place. At midday, the number was just shy of 600. Don Quarello owns a bar not far from the precinct where politics is always a topic. But especially this midterm election, there's pl plenty and people pushing other people to vote that I haven't seen in the past. With his family in tow, Gillum spent about seven and a half minutes inside his polling place. Afterwards, he was asked what message his victory would send. Us winning tonight, I think, will send a message uh, to Mr. Trump and Mr. DeSantis as well, uh, that the politics of hatred and of division, of separation, uh, that they've come to an end. But sending that message means Gillum must win first, something the Democrat running for governor hasn't done since 1994. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Mike Vasilinda.